to your favorite and a brand new episode of Polycab India's number one cable and wires company Dream Home Season 6. As you know, we are on the hunt for the most beautiful homes all across Kerala. I hope you've been enjoying each and every episode and today we have one more beautiful home for you. And before we get to see the most beautiful home, let me introduce to you our panel of judges. We have with us Anuj Gopakumar, Chief Architect of Kumar Group. We have with us Sudha, architect and interior designer of Swasti. So let's take a look at the Pulakya Parambal House from Thrishore. Hello everybody, welcome to Polycap, India's number one cable and wise company, Dream Home Season 6. Today I'm standing in front of Pulakya Parambal House from Thrishore. It's a 3,200 square foot house built in traditional structure. A classic approach can be uh, visible in the exteriors. Well, they also have a lot of windows, um, so well woodwork can be seen. I believe that provides a lot of lighting inside. Landscape area has been taken care of. They have um, a main pathway that leads to the car parking area. And towards the both corners, we have a dedicated garden space. We have the car parking area right in front of the entrance. They also have a long narrow pathway for the sit out. For the flooring what they've used is granite. Even the inclination is pretty good. Classic white colors has been used in the exteriors and to add glamour to it uh, is the window paneling work that has been done. So that's all about the exteriors. Let's go inside and check out the interiors now. The drawing room has been done in a colourful manner. First of all, they have given a light pinkish shade uh, to the walls. Above the ceiling, it's fall ceiling. Uh, indirect lighting has been given, even a couple of LED lights accompanying it. And they've given the same uh, pinkish effect to the curtains. The windows on either, en either end, which helps in the cross ventilation and lighting. For the flooring, it's granite. They've used a wood panelling work uh, on the sideways. That is the segregation between this drawing room area and with the other uh, parts of the house. Next to the drawing room we have the uh, courtyard space, well it's a spacious enough courtyard for the flooring it's white pebbles and uh, ceiling design has been uh, pergola that's covered by toughened glass. Sideways the side complete wall has been done using cladding, stone cladding they have used and on the other end wood panelling has been, um, you know wood panelling teamed up with glass um, is the design. This complete wooden frame is actually segregation between the uh, drawing room and the courtyard. Over that side is the dining hall. Um, then we have two bedrooms on the lower floor, two bedrooms above. This is the family living space. It's also the TV wing corner. So for the TV wall, they have used wood paneling to decorate it to give it a, a stylish appeal. They've used a lot of wood paneling work. A lot of wood niches have been uh, there, um, you know, which uh, is a decorative piece in the interiors. For the flooring, it's granite completely. And um, the, the, the walls have been given light pinkish shade. There are windows on uh, both the ends actually on the opposite wall, to which helps in the uh, cross ventilation as well as lighting. I'm in the dining area now. Well, it's a wooden dining table with glass top. 
right next to that is the uh, crockery shelf which is again wooden and for the top it's granite there's also a pantry counter which is attached to the kitchen right next to me a pantry counter helps in the easy access from the uh, you know from the kitchen to the dining space the wash area has been located close by Woodwork continues in the kitchen as well. Uh, to start with, first of all, it's wooden cabinets being brought above and below, and it's granite top which goes completely. We have windows on either ends which provides enough lighting inside the kitchen. Inside, they have used wall tiles, uh, different wall tiles, especially uh, for the kitchen purpose. For flooring is granite itself. The kitchen is attached to a work area and storage space. They maintain a dark color tone in the master bedroom, uh, dark brown to be precise. Well, we have windows on both the ends, which helps in the cross ventilation and lighting, which is marked by dark color tone um, curtains. We have a separate dress area, wardrobes on, um, on my opposite side, which is wooden. For the flooring, it's granite and um, ceiling spaces has been kept simple. The furnishing has been kept simple and subtle. The staircase pattern has been kept simple but the, um, the difference in the designing is first of all in the ceiling that's pergola design that's covered by a toughened glass and below the staircase the area has not been kept simple now what they have done is it's the flooring is white pebbles they try to maintain a, a little courtyard space and also it's used for, a, for storing purposes and this pergola design especially that lets a lot of sunlight to enter the uh, staircase area and now I'm in the upper floor but the upper floor uh, flooring remains to be granite. We have two bedrooms on either ends and this is a family living space. Sudha, what do you have to speak about the exteriors and landscape of this house? Designed in a colonial style, I understand, because of the domo windows that we can see from the outside. They've used a white and blue combination, which again reflects the domo, um, the European style of uh, designing. Uh, but the blue, whether it actually gels well with the rest of the elements, you've come, we've come a circle back to the wooden teak windows and the mm -hmm. polished teak doors, they're back here again. Somehow I have always felt that the white and the teak don't go well together. Mm -hmm. It's an ivory and teak that gels better together. So then it's coming back to that whether the blue and the teak are uh, matching at all again. So that is something that we've seen across the houses as we see these houses. So that is something that uh, needs to be looked at. The Doma window is detailed actually, there's a lot of um, little little things within the windows so a lot of detailing has gone into it um, the, the columns the cement columns are looking very traditional actually so then again it's a question of whether we're repeating a Kerala style or are we going for a colonial style that again is there to be uh, looked into uh, the landscape looks new I hope when it grows it'll look nice all right and what do you have to say Anuj about the exteriors it's a very simple looking house uh, one element i felt was the porch right smack in the middle is very big uh, tall structure and it is taking away the entire attention of the house the rest of the sloping roof and the element behind is not uh, being very visible with this 
porch standing right there you know so and it's a very plain looking porch so that i think a sloping roof over the porch probably could have made it a little more interesting uh, the uh, veranda is a nice feature again uh, they put a nice veranda with colonnades uh, like uh, sudha said uh, the style is very different uh, but they've gone uh, you know white uh, doma windows blue blue uh, blue kind of grayish blue tiles and but teak wood windows and uh, teak wood doors so many times we realize that uh, you are using wood you are using teak uh, you are using the wood uh, people think that then you have to show the uh, that it is actually wood we have used so that is a wrong concept it you should if you are using wood the entire house should have that kind of uh, style to it yeah. otherwise you uh, make the style gel with uh, this thing not necessarily you need to show that it is wood all right and what do you have to say about the interiors and the flooring because I always feel that the floors are the ones that give light into the house. The floor here is dark granite. Uh, mercifully, the walls are completely whitish, off-white colors. So at least the light from that is reflecting well into the house. So that makes up for the dark floor, actually. Uh, the problem with the dark floor, basically, is that every other furniture that you put in, if you need it to contrast, has to be light. And you're not going to, it's not going to come easy in a place like Kerala. You don't have light furniture too much, and people don't prefer it also. So then you find that the dark black granite, uh, sorry, it could be granite, it could be glass. The dining table top, a black expanse over a dark floor. Again, the whole dining area becomes a, a dark and dingy kind of place because of the dark, excessive darkness that is seen there on the horizontal surfaces. Mm, uh, others, otherwise, the room feels airy, it's big, it's looking good. The woody interiors have been brought in. The stone cladding wall, the courtyards, those are all nice elements there actually. Uh, the, there are three tall windows by the side of the courtyard which again brings in a lot of light. Uh, only thing is that the curtain stands out very much. This is forms a part of the feature of the entire house. As you go up the staircase also the same curtain comes in. It's a red and white curtain with stainless steel rods. See the, the curtain rods have to actually match your style. So if you have an SS rod or a stainless steel rod, it means that you've got modern furniture in it. You've got um, upholstered furniture in it, not a wooden type. Because you do get wooden rods, which match so well. So little things like this, they could have actually taken care of. Uh, I like the kitchen because it's a normal standard kitchen. There is a simplicity to it, which I liked mm. within all the bedroom interiors and other things. And what do you have to say about it? Um, I felt that the uh, living room furniture is a little too... Uh, I don't know how to put it. Uh, it's a simple uh, color in terms of the shade, but then you have these very decorative red cushions and the red curtain, which is also very loud uh, and a lot of pattern, kind of taking away attention from everything. And then you have a kind of a Persian uh, style rug, uh, which is totally different from the, the interiors which you've done, which is put in the below the, uh, the center table so it's almost green yeah yeah so it's kind of not m all these elements not matching uh, i believe that uh, the, the tv panel wall which is in wood is very nice i like the, the tv panel wall has been done it's very simple you've left the tv there with a nice console below it and uh, the kitchen is very basic um, kitchen wooden finished traditional design uh, the kitchen looks nice with nice simple dado tiles uh, nothing uh, nothing much to talk about that uh, I felt that uh, the bed beds were the kind of bedrooms are all simple, very nice, but the bed was a little over decorated, the, the decorative elements in the bed. But however, the bedrooms are simple. Uh, the curtains again is, uh, is a feature which is kind of standing out there. Nice feature I think I liked about the house is the simple courtyard is bringing a lot of nice with a nice stone cladding and a pebble coat. I think that is the only feature which it is looking nice. All right, and what do you have to speak about the color lighting and decor? Yeah, the colors are fine uh, on the walls, uh, the wall colors are muted and subdued and some darker shades have been provided, well muted and recedes into the background. Lighting is of course quite simple, quite nice, uh, they have not done an overdose of uh, lighting in any way, uh, whatever is required has been provided and especially in the kitchen I see that the worktops have been well lit, so that is what is more important, not too much into that okay. side though, but it is done well. And uh, what do you have to say about the same? They have not done much on the decor. They have just 
put all the elements of furniture in it. I felt that they could have a lot more could be done in terms of the, the kind of uh, accessories the house can bring in, uh, the, the painting or the artwork which can actually also come in. The color is pretty light, uh, they have done pure white and off-white colors for the walls which is nice but again like Sudha said the curtains is actually taking it away. Uh, completely a, a kind of little more subtle uh, curtains would have actually made this house look much better. Alright, and the last aspect which is the value for money, what do you have to say about that? It's not a house where they've splurged too much money on. Uh, I thought the granite was rather unnecessary because they've got granite even in the bedrooms. A granite costs something like say starting from 150 upwards per square feet. So you find that large slabs of granite of that uh, type even put into the bedrooms, you'll find that three-fourths of the bedroom is covered by your bed. So is there a need for such a flooring within the bedroom is a question that can be asked. So then when it comes to value for money, I guess for the money that they've spent, I guess it's seen there, that's it. Well, again, for uh, value for money, I believe that they have not spent a lot on the house. Uh, they've uh, kept it to the minimum, kept everything to the minimum. But even when you're spending less, not see for getting a desired effect, you not necessarily you have to spend a lot of money. You know, it is only on the way you actually use the materials and how carefully you use the materials and how you can get the best potential out of those uh, materials you use uh, to to get into the, uh, to get the best effect for your house. So uh, my, it's not just about the quantity of money you have yeah. spent, but how you spend that money uh, into this house. So I believe that a lot more could have been done. Right, now let's get to everybody's nerve-wracking uh, session, which is the scores. So what do you, how much would you rate the exteriors of this house? I'd give it a 16. 16 on 25, and you? I, uh, I also think I'll give it a 16 on 25. 16 on 25 again, and for the interiors? Yeah, it's a uh, calm, quiet interiors. It doesn't shout too much. So. I'm happy with it. 17. 17 on 25, I knew. I've given it a 16 on 25. 16 on 25. Now for the color lighting and decor? Um, I'd go for a 17. 17 on 25, I knew. Uh, uh, there's not much done for the decor of the house. Uh, it's just whatever is needed is just there. It's nothing extra. And even the lighting also, it's just basic lighting. So I've given it a 15. The value for money? Value for money, I thought there were some areas where they could have cut down and used it better. I'm going for a 15. 15 on 25 and you? I also agree with Sudha, I am giving it to 15. 15 on 25. Now it's time for the total score. So Anuj, your total score is 62 on 100. And for Sudha, it's 65 on 100. And for public, it's 32 on 50. And the total score is 159 on 250. So now that's how the house looked and that's how we all liked it. And now it's time for us to listen to the valuable suggestions and opinions of our judges. So let's listen what they have to speak about the roofing. So let's start with you again, Sudha. One of the most important aspects of uh, roofing is the drainage in it. And uh, what we find these days is that we have a lot of the, the contemporary kind of houses have a lot of flat roof in it. Um, any roof will not leak provided there are basic three things into it. First thing being that it's workmanship of the concreting is done well. So once that is done well, then 50% of your problem is solved. The next 30% I would say would be the drainage of that particular roof there. So if that can be taken care of, the water that falls on the roof, not a drop to stay there, drained away well, then those kind of cracks, leaks, etc. can be taken away well. And finally, a weatherproofing coat over the slab. It may, it may be sloping, it may be flat. A proper weatherproofing has to be done on it. And based on these three aspects, you find that your roof can last you forever without cracks, without leaks. There is always a saying that any roof in Kerala, you find leaks, yeah. but need not necessarily be. So even the flattest of flat roofs can actually be designed and made in such a way that there are no cracks or leaks. All right. And now what do you have to say about this? <coughs> well, uh, taking off from what uh, Sudha said, uh, drainage is a very important factor for the roof. Uh, many times what we all always think is only of draining the water away from the roof yeah. so that the roof is protected, there is no water staying there and it doesn't leak into the house. Of course, waterproofing helps that. But uh, people don't think about what you do with the water which is coming from the roof. So rainwater harvesting, I think, is the answer to that. So whatever water falls on your roof should be collected out 
and uh, recycled and used uh, and the water to be harvested and reused in the house. Kerala is blessed with a lot of rain, 150 right. days of rain in a year. So if you properly plan the uh, collection of water from your roof, uh, you can actually uh, sustain uh, for almost close to 100 odd days with just rain water which is coming from the roof. So uh, we don't do that in many, many of the houses don't actually look at that an aspect. I believe that it is a very um, energy, uh, it's an it's a environmental conscious thing to do and people should think about rainwater housing. Thank you and this is one very important point that all of us really need to keep in mind and yes drainage is something most of us tend to ignore but with this yeah we will definitely keep, I am sure all of you are going to keep this in mind and work on this. And now it's time for us to wind up with this episode of Polycab India's number one cable and wires company Dream Home Season 6.